Yes, peeps. Just out for a little midnight vibe. Just chilling with one of my boys in this parking lot, checking out all these supercars. See, so got like Ferraris, Lambos, Audi Audis, McLarens. You name it, you'll find it over here. So I found an old video where I updated my state of flywheel housing. I just totally forgot about it. But if you own one of them machine here, go for an up R1. I'm not sure if the R6 shares the same state of flywheel housing, but I'd say just go ahead and replace it with the upgraded version. Save yourself some headache later down the line. Yeah, so check out the video. Uh, we're gonna walk around and check out them supercars here. So until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next bit. What up YouTube? Already right, went ahead and got the brand new updated version of the flywheel, brand new gasket. When I get this stator out, I'll show you guys the, the difference between the updated version and the OEM stuff. So there's a point under here that you could kind of pry. I just did that and it's moving now. I can do it without pulling out the flywheel. Just don't have enough strength to keep this in place. Just gonna pull everything out and hope that the oh crap. All right, I can see everything falling out. And I'm hoping that it doesn't fall in the hole here. Otherwise I have to fish that thing out with a magnet. All right, let me see if I can keep everything in, in check, hang on. Just gonna let that hang a little bit. I see you. Okay, I got it. All right, so I got everything in place. Nothing fell out into the engine. And when you're taking out the flywheel, you want to be careful that the washer on the collar doesn't fall down inside the engine. Otherwise, you'd have to fish it out from the oil pan or drop your oil pan to get it out. But there's a little ledge here that chances are it may fall down in there, but uh, you saw what I did. Let me see what type of flywheel I got inside there. Yeah, it's hard to take it apart. And this came off clean, so that's a good thing. Don't have a lot of cleaning to do. Came off as one piece. Well, three pieces. You've got this pin here. The other one, I'll just put it back in place here. I just don't know why Yamaha decided to glue the magnets. Gonna get rid of this bad boy. Put the brand new one in place and call it a day. Alright, as 
you can see everything looking brand new as i said this bike is a low kilometer bike didn't expect to have any findings so that's the stator just have it hanging on my tripod just to keep the tension off the wire and that's the difference this is the oem where the magnets are exposed and that's the upgraded version where they have like a metal sleeve just to keep everything in place so there's no chance of the magnets falling down into the engine and then you got the clutch assembly there and then the adapters so i'm gonna reinstall everything in reverse already cleaned up the mating surface for the gasket so i'm using a scrubber sponge it's not very abrasive it doesn't leave any marks i just put something here just to catch all the old gaskets so it doesn't fall down inside here and just take my little time with it and that's the result so i'm gonna reinstall this start the bike check for leaks and i think that should be it Also, whenever you install in the new upgraded version, check for loose debris inside. I did find a few little metal, metal flakes, so I clean it up. I'm gonna oil it up right now and then reinstall. All right, so I got everything assembled. Oiled it up really well. All I'm gonna do is just take my time and slide it back into the bearing. All right, so I got it in. I think one of the easiest way getting this thing done, you rotate the gears. Because I've been rocking the back wheel back and forth and that didn't work. You can see that the teeth is actually meeting with the lower gear and everything just slides into place. So I got the gasket in place, it's a direct fit, I'm not gonna need both hands to realign the stator, and hopefully um, all should go well, let's see. Alright, so that's what I'm doing to keep the flywheel in place, almost got it, just have to realign the dull pins, and then this thing is gonna just snap into place. All right, let me just move these wires out of the way so we can have a clean install. Okay, I got everything torqued down. Let me just start it up. Just let that open just to see if anything is blending. this thing is sealed at least i know the oil pump is working properly okay, let me start it up yeah. 